Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. And today in Division 2 is the Vendor Reset Day. So we're going to be checking out all the new items. And if you've never been here before, I'm not going to go through every single little stat. I'm going to pick out what are good things. Maybe if there's something for your recal library or something that will work in TU12 when the optimization station comes out, I will point that out. Otherwise, we're going to try to get through that fast so you can get on with your day. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, smash that like button it helps we're a small channel trying to get to a thousand would love to have you guys aboard as usual New York was pretty much a bust there's nothing really worth going out there for just a bunch of mid-tier rolls we're just going to hop into Washington DC and check out what they got in the White House all right at the DC vendor we have the burned out now this is a named FAMAS 2010 and it comes with perfectly on empty reloading from empty grants plus 40 percent weapon handling for 10 seconds now this is great so ideally you're just going to want to run this out till it runs out of clip and handling does so many things that as accuracy stability reload speed and that's a great thing on reload speed so if we run this mag empty you are going to have a quick reload probably like before you even know and you're going to be back in the game really good for close range combat although the rolls are mid-tier and they're not that great i honestly probably would keep the critical hit chance you could always re-roll to damage to armor and then optimize the other stats but right now currently in the pts optimization is kind of expensive hopefully they'll change that but might as well pick it up you never know it could work out in the future all right right off the bat we have the cold relations now this is a pp19 named item and it comes with perfect strain to gain 10 percent critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing now this has an insane clip size 53 and if you add that extra one i think it gets up to 70 or something it's it's something ridiculous although it is mid-tier rolls and just a bad 12 reload speed i'm just not a fan of this weapon at all and i would pass if it was me we have the hunter's fury mask came with a mid-tier roll a little over 12.1 percent weapon damage if you do not have something better pick that up we have a hard wire mask also came with 7.6 percent weapon damage this is a really great set and i suggest anyone especially if you are new to skill builds this is a great set to cut your teeth on we also have the hunter's fury backpack Although it's not a bad weapon damage roll, I would just skip on this. The talent is terrible and you can pick almost any other talent on a yellow backpack is going to be better. Now, other than that, we do have a holster with 12% skill haste and not bad if you need to put that in your recal library. Now, there are these knee pads and I would just not use them. You can find a much better fox prayers, even though it's going to be rifle damage. It's going to do so much more damage than these. All right, we made it to the campus and we have... A Kim's long stick, I don't know if I'm saying that right, comes with perfect ranger. Amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 4 meters you are away from the target. Now this is a marksman rifle and it's just bad rolls all around. I would just skip past that. Other than that, we have the M249. Now this has 15% LMG damage. If you do not have that for your recal library, go ahead and pick that up. Other than that, we are just going to head over to the theater and hopefully our boy got something for us okay here we are at the theater and it was kind of a bust again this week it's okay he usually hooks us up but this week not so much so we have the double barrel shotgun the boomstick and it comes with perfect pumped up reloading grants plus five percent weapon damage for 10 seconds stacking up to five times now i'm not really a big fan of this just because i don't like reloading every single two shots but it would be a good shotgun if you could build around it but it has really bad stats and if you are looking for a name shotgun to build around honestly you guys should check out the tsunami i've been using it with hunter's fury and it is a blast i think you guys will enjoy it quite a bit all right we are at dz east and again we have a night watcher this is the gila guard named item and it really didn't come with that great of rolls honestly i would just pass unless you get a max armor roll or some kind of critical hit critical hit damage down there otherwise yeah just pass on that we have a mid-tier custom M44, as well as the Stoner LAMG. Now, if you ever see a good roll of this, this is a really nice LMG, and it's probably one of my favorite in the game. And we have another Hunter's Fury Mass, and this is even better than the one before. Honestly, pick this thing up. This is not a bad buy at all. And Hunter's Fury set, well, it's it's doing pretty well. And we have a hardwire holster. Come with repair skills. All right, we're at DZ South and we have the swap chain. This is the named MP7 and it comes with perfect unwavering. Swapping to this weapon grants 400% weapon handling for five seconds. Kills, refreshes buff. Swapping away disables 
from all weapons for five seconds. So if you can keep this up, this does some work, although the rolls aren't that great, but we could always, honestly, we would just reroll that attribute to whatever your preferred set, damage to armor, damage to health, something like that. And we could optimize that and it's not that bad of a roll. And this is actually, MP7 is kind of underrated and you should, guys should honestly try it out sometime. And we have a black market at SMG, 19.5 critical hit chance. It's not max, but you could take it to the recal library. Now we have for gear sets, we have the Aces and Eight backpack, and it comes with a mid-tier weapon damage. We also have Aces and Eight's chest, and it comes with 11% weapon damage and 6.5% weapon handling. Now, other than that, we have a backpack with 10% hazard protection. So if you're looking for that Hasbro build for your backfire, there you go. Okay, we are at DZ West and we have the Rockin' Roll Shotgun. Now this comes with perfectly extra plus 50% magazine capacity and it came with a max roll on shotgun damage, 7% damage to armor and that critical hit chance, a mid tier roll. You could re-roll one of these and optimize the other or re-roll critical hit chance. Honestly, I like the critical hit, hit that cap and <laughs> your shotgun is trucking. Now, other than that, we did have a Saga 12 with 12% damage to armor. So if you do not have that for your library, go ahead and pick that up. Ongoing directive, we have mid tier rolls, not a bad, and the weapon handling is not that bad. If you are going to make this build work, I would run it with Bullet King. Now we have a mid tier knee pad for the Hunter's Fury. If you don't have something better, just go ahead and pick that up. But this is a pretty easy gear set to get these days. Now I, this is looks like a terrible roll, but it is the y'all gear so if you are trying to build that Hasbro build this is a good piece to pick up although the armor is not really that great or the armor regen we can always reroll that skill damage to critical hit chance or critical hit damage and it will get your foot in and you could always optimize this later or find a better piece and that's pretty much it for the vendors this week guys if you're looking for builds or other tutorials just to help you get through the game go ahead and check out my channel we do daily division content so stay tuned and i will see you guys next time